soon I will go to uh, our crew member's house and uh, he got our watercross sleds there so we can uh, fix those a little bit and maybe maybe go ride ride with those it's pretty awesome day again before we go fix our sleds I will try to answer a couple, couple of questions you have sent in the last video lol sorry to keep replying just find it amazing to talk to you I'm a big fan I'm probably too excited lol but love that you are posting daily and hope you continue making great videos yeah we can uh, we try to do this every day but I know that there is gonna be days that we can't post videos but for now we try to do videos every day my friend comes home after after one o'clock so we got 30 minutes time to do something before we go there hmm. this here is a I don't know the English word I think it's a air gun I don't know what you call it it's Ilmakko in Finnish Ilmakivääri Oh I suck so bad Yeah, Simo Hauha is from Finland and I think he's the best sniper in the world. He's just a little bit better than me. I think. Did I fucking still miss? It can't be. <laughs> okay, now I will show you our uh, watercross sleds. This here is a mayhem sled. We call it mayhem because there is a three cylinders on it. Normally there is two, so it got three. Uh, there is 200 horsepower on it. Top speed is something like 160 kilometers per hour. It's pretty fast. And the model is um, Skidoo MX Jet 800. But there is a different motor now. It's a famous sled because Nitro Circus uh, were filming with us in the last year. One of the Nitro Circus guys write that on water and we need to fix it. There is a lot of problems and we need to do some service to it. And in here we got our second uh, watercross snowmobile. It's it's like really good in condition. This sled is also famous uh, because this is the same sled what Antti Pendikainen fly off from that mountain like I think it was one year ago. Yeah, one year ago. It's a Lynx 800cc engine on it. Uh, top speed something like 96, a uh, little under 100. I don't know, it's good, good sled. So this is the guy. Hello. Yeah, he can fix anything, he can build anything. He had, he's so good that he go around the world fixing nuclear power plants, big, big ships, stuff like that. But when he isn't working, He's with us and building stuff and, you know, riding snowmobiles. He's really good snowmobile rider. And when we did the flying snowmobile video, he was there, you know, climbing those same mountains as like we were. So he's a really good snowmobile rider, better than the most of us. Do we put the brake pads here now?
Now we need to bleed the air out of the system. Close. Do some service with mayhem. That's not good. We have to fix that one also. Everybody knows this. Sika flex. You can fix everything. Yeah. These are competition numbers from last summer. They were my first first watercross competition numbers. I don't need those anymore. Yeah, we have to fix that. We have to fix that because it doesn't work like it should. You can broke your whole motor with this. You know, if if this doesn't work, uh, there comes under pressure there, and the engine goes to lean mix, and after that you can ruin the whole engine with that. Epoxy stick metal. Same in Finnish, kemiallinen metalli, aka kemiski. And you can see here is two compounds. That one and that one. And when you mix those up, it gets super hard. <laughs> If someone asks, we have tried to fix this. Now I'm gonna clean the filters. So much sand. Now I will explain you why we are cutting the skis. When you are riding on water, you go like this. And you can see that the ski is too long from the back here. This right here is too long. Imagine this grass like it's water, so it's not good. The sled ones always come like this after that. After this, these skis will be racing skis. This gives you like 100 horsepower more. I don't think is is this a good idea anymore. <laughs> it's fixed now. We can go ride. Best thing about riding these things are just how fast they go zero to sixty. Uh, I have ride dirt bikes, street bikes, stand up water jets, you name it. I have ride a lot of like bicycles. But this thing is something, something more. Uh, zero to sixty is like little over one one second. It's like this. It just explodes, and that is just the best thing when you're riding these things. The takeoff, the launch. You actually can start when your skis is in the water. You don't you don't have to have speed. And because it just goes so fast, straight when you put the full throttle on. And that is just what I love about these things. You can't get that feeling like on the motorcycles.
It's fun, you know. Yeah. You get used to it. Yeah. That's all for today. Have a nice day.